Well, I was just driving along in this potato field and these two baby deer ran out in front of me without the mother and I knew I had hit one and um, the other one was across uh, the road here. I got a video of that one. There was no mother in sight and I just stopped and talked to a man and he said that blue tongue affects, attacks deer. It's like a bacterial infection. And um, he said that they were probably orphaned. And so, you know, I just feel awful about this. I've never hit a deer in my life. And I live in a park and I live um, near, um, uh, you know, um, uh, huge game lands, um, deer, and, uh, oh, I'm horrified. Really, I'm just, oh, I, there's no way to stop. Absolutely no way to stop. And so this just happened, and I went across the street, I mean, across, yeah, the road here, and the other deer, the baby deer, was hiding in the thicket, and I got a video of that one, but this man was telling me that, uh, um, you know, um, they were going to have a rough time overall surviving. Oh, what a beautiful marking there. He said, you know, the deer would have had a rough time because of coyotes, coyotes or foxes. What a beautiful marking. That is just absolutely, oh, I just feel horrible. I mean, and then it's a baby. But you know what? As an antinatalist, you know, so these are soybean fields. I'm sorry, I said potato before they're soybean. But you know, as an antinatalist or a pro mortalist, it's always better to die earlier than later. And if a fox or coyote had uh, eventually got to, to this baby, they would have caused far more injury. So the farmer that stopped, um, he told me that these were probably born in May. So we're looking at a three month old baby. I guess it's, I guess it's a boy. Look at that. I think, I, I think he ran out or, and um, I, I broke his neck. Absolutely no way to stop. Just literally right in front of my car and quickly they they both darted. And the other one, which was across here and which I got some video footage of because I thought the deer had crossed the road. I didn't, didn't know that the deer was thrown back into the other side. But this is where they cross. And you know, they, they need to put up a sign here. This is near uh, Fowler Beach in Delaware. They need to put a sign here that says deer crossing because deer will cross at this particular area, um, you know, year after year, decade after decade. But you know, nobody expects, I mean, nobody expects to, to hit a deer. I mean, there's not even any deer signs. It's just a wide open road and and I had to be the one to hit this baby so people people um, who know me uh, you know know that this really just breaks my heart that my car my vehicle ended this baby's life uh, but um uh, you know, he will, he will suffer no more. The precious thing. I mean, he didn't, you know, he didn't feel a thing. I'm pretty sure his neck is broken. Yeah. I, I hit him on the head there. I'm so sorry, baby. What a, just a beautiful marking.